Hi guys, it's me Samantha here today. I am going to be testing out the new Nabla Miami Lights glitter palette along with a couple of these skin glazes. I'm very, very excited to share this with you guys. I also purchased a couple of their lip glosses, so if you are interested in watching me play with these, please continue to watch and let's get started. So, I don't know about you guys, but I was really, really excited. The marketing behind this um, collection was remarkable. It really created quite a hype and I was super, super pumped to uh, finally see it in Ulta. I don't know how many of you guys are aware of Nabla. If you're new to it, it is an Italian indie brand and they make some incredible stuff. I definitely highly re recommend you um, finding them on Ulta or going to their website. And yes, so I'm going to put on I already started my base. I just have some Maybelline um, Matte and Poreless Foundation and Milani Concealer and I painted my brows so I'm going to put some glitter primer on and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two colors on one eye and two on the other just to test them out and show you guys what they look like on my skin tone and then we are actually we're going to start out with the complexion products and then lastly we'll finish off with the lip glosses i got the two shades in um uh, district and rsvp one is like a creamy shade and one is a kind of more of a glitter glassy um, gloss so let's get started all right i grabbed some brushes and i typically like to start um, when I start putting my blush and all of that on with um, bronzer. I also pulled out my skin glaze that they previously um, released because it is more of a highlighter and I did not, they didn't release any new highlighting type shades and um, so this will be my highlighter. Okay, so we're going to go in with the bronzer, and I purchased the bronzer in Soft Revenge. I really wanted to get the shade Dune, but for some reason they don't have that yet at Ulta. This shade looks to me a little bit more like a contour shade, but we're going to use it anyway, and hopefully it works out. And then we'll top it off with the blush. And this formula is really, really smooth and lightweight, and when I've used the blush in the past, it's n not, like, so pigmented that it's going to, like, um, you know, take forever to blend out and stuff like that. It's a really great formula. And I kind of place my bronzer near my high point of my cheek because I want it to be a bronzer and not a contour. We'll see how this looks. It does appear to be warmer on the skin than I thought it would be, so I'm happy. That's a good, good, good thing. You can definitely see the difference. It looks really, really soft. And pretty. Alright, I'm really enjoying that. It's very soft. I feel like it looks pretty and natural on my skin tone right now. I wish it would show up a little bit more, but I am pretty much as tan as I'm going to get for the year. So I think this is going to be an even better shade on me as my tan starts to fade going into the cooler weather. But as far as the formula goes, it's just like the previous skin glazes. It's very, very smooth, very buildable. It looks pretty flawless on the skin and natural, and I really, really enjoy it. So let's try out the blush, and I got the blush in the shade Independence. This is what it looks like. They also released another shade called Lola that looked a little bit more of a pop 
I think in the swatches that I saw on my skin tone and darker, it kind of had more of like a watermelon. I don't know if that sounds right or weird, but it kind of had more of a punch to it um, as far as the shape went. So I just thought that this one would be a little bit more natural and um, just natural. So that's what I went with. Miss Independence here. Go in. And again, I'm not shy to go in with this formula straight in because I'll tell you it's not one that's going to be like a big punch and then you have to spend forever um, like buffing it out. That is beautiful. I think that is really, really beautiful. I'm going to keep it right there. Sometimes I bring my blush all the way up, but I think it just looks really, really stunning like that. And I'm going to get a smaller, fluffier brush. We're going to use the shade Privilege. And this is from their previous release. This is one of their skin glazes um, that's more of a highlighter. And I love this on my skin tone. It's very, very peachy. And I love that. And it is so skin-like, this powder. I'm going to get close to the camera and show you guys. And that's why I was so, so excited to see this collection come out. So I think it looks really, really pretty and skin-like. And I'm really quite happy with that. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my... Hard Candy Glitter Glue, Glitter Stay, and then we're going to try this palette. Alright, so I put glitter glue on this eye right here, and I don't know that you always have to put glitter glue on when you're using a glitter shadow, but I like to do it just to make sure that I don't have it going everywhere, and I think for this eye, I'm going to... We're just going to go like this. So I'm going to do the pink and brown. And then on the other eye, I will do the purple blue color with the white. And I'm just going to, I'm a finger person. So I'm going to go in with my finger and this is, oh my goodness, this is what it looks like. Can you guys see? Really, really excited. I don't know if you guys can see how stunning that looks. It is beautiful. I thought I was going to go on with the brown one on this side, but my fingers just went into the purple color. I'm going to put, and I really intended to put the white on the inside, but this is what happens. Oh my goodness. The white is, it's like a yellow and it picks up all these fiery colors in there. I don't know if you can see how stunning this is. I mean, I would never wear this combo like this. It's just for the sake of swatching all the colors. Um, but these are beautiful. I'm going to kind of like mix them a little bit and see how that looks. Put a little bit of that purple on the other side. I mean the glitter glue helps because now it's not all over my face but look how stunning that is holy smokes holy smokes so I'm gonna clean my fingers off and then I'm gonna go in with some glitter glue on the other eye and we're gonna test the other two shades all right so we're all ready we got the glitter glue on this eye here and we're gonna try the pink and the brown colors Hopefully I can get this right. Alright, the pink shade. This is what it kind of looks like. 
almost has like a blue green glitter in there so pretty I'm going to lean forward so you can see beautiful all right now we're going to go in with this chocolatey looking color so gorgeous it's like a chocolate copper beautiful they're very comfortable on the eye it doesn't feel like stiff and it doesn't feel like I have things poking onto my lids so that's a really good um, sign I'm gonna I'm gonna put some mascara on so I don't look so crazy I'm gonna swatch the glitter on my wrist and then I will show you the glasses all right so I have some mascara on my eyes so I don't look so crazy anymore we're going to swatch these shades on my wrist so you can see them this first one I'm swatching is Aries. It is the white glitter in there. And this is what it looks like. The next one is the purplish blue shade in from Firmamented. I'm sure I'm saying that incorrectly. And this is what it looks like. It is stunning. This brown red tone one is Scorpio. I'm not great at swatches, obviously. And then the last one is the pink one, and that's Muses. This one has more like smaller glitters, so when you're swatching it or picking it up, it feels a little bit grittier, but I think it's just because the glitters in it is, are a lot more fine. So it's pink with a lot of like green shifty kind of glitters in it. And then you have Scorpio that's brown with like a little bit of a red shift. The purple one is like blue and purple and then the yellow one has a strong like green shift in there. They're really really stunning. So going into the glosses they come in these really cute ombre plastic packaging which are probably going to be difficult to open just like <laughs> just like the blush the skin glazes but maybe oh maybe not maybe not the tubes on this when I show you are huge I'm curious so this is what the gloss looks like they are enormous um, just for comparison purchase purposes this is the um, Dominique cosmetics gloss and they're like so slightly taller I feel like I don't know maybe because they're round or they're just heavier and like the inside of the tubes I don't know if you can see that are like way more filled they're like wider than like the Dogmanie Cosmetics I feel like these are just a ginormous it's stunning nonetheless I love the little glitters in the top there I don't know if you can see they're really sparkly so this is district we're gonna try this one first I'm gonna put a liner on I'm gonna put a lip liner on with this one because it is pretty opaque looking and pale so I just want to make sure I'm giving it its best representation if I was to wear this on a regular everyday situation I'm gonna wear it with a liner so Okay, so I don't always wear lip liner, but when I wear something really opaque like this, I do prefer to put a lip liner on. And today I'm using my ColourPop in, yeah, BFF3, and you can get this at Ulta as well in case you like the way it looks and you want to purchase it. Okay, 
It looks like the stem of the um, gloss even has the little glitters inside of it, which is pretty cute. And it has like a paddle type of uh, applicator. The formula is beautiful. It's very, very smooth and comfortable. I could wear this without a lip liner. I could, it's more, it's less opaque than I thought it was going to be. And actually, I think I'm going to take off the gloss and apply it again without a lip liner because I think it'll look, I'll like it better. All right. So this is District without a lip liner at all. It's like a gorgeous milky nude shade and I think it's absolutely stunning. The formula itself is really, really comfortable and cushiony, and it doesn't have that weird stringy thing that sometimes happens with gloss, and it also doesn't feel sticky, which I really enjoy. I think it's gorgeous. We're going to try RSVP now, and I'm really excited about this. It kind of looks like a toffee color with glitter in it, but we'll see how it looks on the lips. All right, so this is the shade RSVP. And again, with that paddle. I knew this was going to be my favorite of the two shades. It's very dramatic and simple and beautiful and I'm really obsessed with this shade I think it's really really quite gorgeous and going back to my eyes I just realized like looking in the viewfinder that I have all this glitter on my eyes and it didn't I almost forgot I had it because it's so comfortable so I think this formula is gorgeous if you like any of these shades definitely pick it up um, out of the glosses, I think I like this one a little bit better than the milky shade one, but I still think this is really gorgeous and I see myself using it more. I, I like the bronzer. I love the blush. I'm really, really happy with this collection and then the, the specific things that I picked up. They came out with six glosses. The other ones looked a little bit more pink or raspberry in tone, and I think those would be quite stunning for a lot of people. I just tend to lean more towards the nudes as far as my lips go because I can be quite colorful in the eye area. So um, I really, really enjoyed everything that I picked up. I hope you guys liked it. I hope that you guys pick up some of this stuff just because it's so good. I think that it's worth it. I recommend it to anybody. Um, absolutely stunning. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can come back and see more videos with me. And until next time, thank you guys. Bye.